Emma J. White is a contemporary artist who lives and works in Surrey. She has had exhibitions in London and Italy, and her works reside in private collections around the world. Emma is inspired by colour, music and emotion in order to develop and create unique and self-healing artwork. She has the ability to harness energy through the subconscious in order to produce truly otherworldly dreamscapes. Emma has a vision for an eco-community where people are connected to the environment in order to live harmoniously. We had the pleasure to sit down and talk to Emma about her visions and her dreams. Can you tell us where did your love for art start? It started when I was born. Um, it's just something that's been innate in me. I have always wanted to create art. It's, it's just the part of my spirit that's always wanted to do it. I can't even explain where it came from. You know, as a child, I was always making things. I think lots of children are. And I've, um, I've just not lost that. Uh -huh. So you had it since very early age? Very early age, mm -hmm. yeah. And what drives you the most when you create? Like, do you have an inspiration first and then you do something? Colour. Normally it's colour and I get an idea and a concept and an emotion that's connected to the colour. And from that, then it develops into something else. It becomes a different story. So it changes and develops as it goes along. The actual process of the artwork, I would say, is a healing method or a communication within myself. Mm -hmm. So it's a conversation going on with my psyche and that develops in the form of a painting, uh -huh. I guess. It's, <laughs> well, it's something that's outside of language itself. So the only way I can describe it is like having a bath. You know, <laughs> you, you, you find the colours, you put them onto canvas and in the process of the creation or the painting, a cleansing happens in your spirit and things come to light, subconscious um, images and thoughts or past issues or anything that needs to be dealt with will come to light in the process of painting. Mm. And Emma, in your art, do you have any particular subjects? Are there any themes that you really like in your art? Dreamscapes, I think. Um, something that can communicate a different way of being that's outside of our reality but is also a possibility so I like to have for instance landscapes that they do exist but they're in a different realm mm -hmm. so something related to fantasy worlds which are close to us but not exactly in our yes, world yes they're possibilities. possibilities yeah and I like to have them um, just touching reality uh -huh. so there's kind of a merge there I spent most of my childhood outside. Uh, I feel particularly close to um, plants and trees. I don't know if it's the green or um, the energy or the communication they're giving off, but I do feel there's a, a family element, certainly a protective mm -hmm. element from trees. Um, uh -huh. yeah. Do you feel like plants or trees, they have a special character, like an energy? Mm, we can absolutely, talk? absolutely they do, yeah. And it won't necessarily be something obvious. So you can go up to a big oak tree and think, oh, well, this is going to be a, you know, an old granddad and it's going to be all strong. And you can go up to it and, you know, connect and be vulnerable and, and touch the tree and feel something completely different to that that you might project onto it. Emma, uh, you told us today that you're interested in creating some homes like for vulnerable people I found yes. this idea very powerful yes yes it's the idea of not having everything segregated where we all live in individual homes and there are people out there struggling and there are there is nature struggling so I'd like to bring the whole idea of living under a completely different um, concept so I like the idea of creating eco homes that work within the environment that um, allow a place of refuge for people that are perhaps struggling and to also enhance creation, uh, to have creative workshops involved, uh, people involved with um, animal rehabilitation. We're all living together. I think that would be incredible. And actually, I think it would be a lovely step in a new direction for the way we actually can, can conceive living. A completely new... It's amazing. I guess goosebumps as we mm. talk about it. If you have any 
word of encouragement maybe to all? I would say, like I said before, go for it and don't worry about that voice inside that says that's not how society works. You know, you were born this way. So allow it to manifest and do it with love and vulnerability. So we're here now to sense the energy of the beautiful artwork of Emma J. White. And she very gracefully showed us this painting, which is called Somewhere. And I believe that many of you, even looking at this painting, will feel this amazing, enticing nature, as though you would like to go for a swim in this beautiful energy. And the colors and the shapes and the flow is just fascinating. So what we're going to do now, we're going to sense it with the hands and we're going to feel what energy actually comes out of this beautiful masterpiece. So let us see. I will just close my eyes so I can connect a bit better and feel the energy with my hands. So this is quite a strong, even I would say intense energy which is waking up something very deep and very special within you. It is calling you for some exploration, to pay attention to something very important inside of you. As though it says, look, look, notice, explore, I am here for you. Don't be afraid, explore. It reminds me of a deep woodland when you walk around the trees and they all look at you from above and just showing you their leaves and the branches and they're very tall and very solemn and this is like an endless forest where you can walk around and explore 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 wow <laughs> that's fascinating Oh, that was wonderful. You. That I was really quite spot on, actually. Oh. Yeah, what you said about the endless forest. Um, yeah, because uh, this came to me during a dream. So I was kind of half falling asleep. And I remember waking up in the night thinking, I had this amazing, amazing image. And I wanted to record it. But it was outside of language itself. So if I can try and explain, I went into this place and I could see behind the colours, I could smell the colours, I could, each uh, colour had a number, it was very, very um, abstract, abstract to the point that it, it cannot be explained in this world, but it was such a powerful emotion that came through, uh, the emotion that was endless, it was like an eternity, it's like they keep looking at the maze, keep looking at the, the shapes and the structures and how everything fits together in a beautiful pattern, the pattern is so much bigger, uh -huh. the forest, and it is like an endless forest, so when you said that, that really, yeah, that uh, connected to that me, connected. Yeah. as I was waking up, it seemed as if everything had an equation behind it, mm -hmm. and I could almost smell the colours, and there were colours that don't actually exist as far as we know, uh -huh. um, through our eyesight. So they were kind of shimmering pink golds, but they weren't, if you know what I mean. It speaks to us. You know, some works of art, they're just healing by nature, like this piece of art. You look at it and you're being invited for an exploration. You don't really have to do anything. You just stand in front of it. You allow it to bathe you in this energy. And I believe that inspiration and some revelations will come naturally just by connecting to this special energy. We're here now with the next painting of Emma which is called Unwritten and to be honest with you I felt so drawn to this painting as though I feel I belong to a space like this <laughs> maybe from another lifetime I came from the space with magic balls and we're all magic spheres there and all we do we just run around and fly around and change shapes and create little colors and structures within us and it was so blissful I just as though I have a memory of this life and thank you so much for painting it it's like <laughs> coming you. back home <laughs> so we're gonna sense it now as well with our hands and see what energy comes out from it mm. I 
get several sensations from this painting. It's interesting, it has both the jolliness and the sadness at the same time. As though there is a being in it, or there is some spirit in it, who's been through some sadness in the life, through some honest sadness. And at the same time, it's a romantic dream, and it's a desire to envision something, a desire for a better, go back home, or introduce a bit of that magicality in the world around, which exists now here. So it is, it is like reminiscence of the old times, of something good, of some other places that this being was in before. And it has a bit of playfulness as well, it has a bit of jolliness. But as though it's a bit of a forgotten jolliness, like it's a bit caged or something, or it's a bit frozen. But in the past there was a lot of jolliness there. And this being is just now in this space and it reminisces and it wants to go back to feeling free and happy. And I feel particularly this being wants to bring the magicality of that space into the place where it is now. <laughs> yes, um, wow, where to start? That's spot on. The family you're talking about, I believe, is something that I've felt connected to in the past, and I have felt a sadness, and I felt a longing, and not a disconnect, but I felt like they're talking to me and saying, mm -hmm. you can come home soon at some point. And, and the, the laughter is them, it's them giggling, going, come on Emma, you know, it's okay. So I think you actually tapped into a very, very personal part of my soul. It's an old time, maybe outside of time itself. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a place where we existed, consciousness existed, and we communicated to each other in light mm -hmm. and in colour and in energy. Yeah, and these are these are little beings travelling down this path. And we've all been there a million times before, backwards and forwards and sideways and yeah. It's outside of the linear timeline that we know. It, it represents a spiritual timeline. Mm. Yeah. Emma, I feel although I felt sadness when sensing it, but I feel this is such an important picture to look at and to have it maybe even at home have a representation of it because for souls who want to connect back to where they come from we need that little reminder and I even get goosebumps and as, as I'm talking about it because we all miss some place somewhere where we come from yeah. and sometimes we get distracted and we're here in the moment and it's beautiful yeah. but there is a little part of us, a little spiritual part which actually wants to remember where we're from and that lovely place where we used to be energy balls or energies and just hang out and fly and love each other and yes, it's we were good pure. to remember. We were pure in essence and we have refined ourselves to this degree uh -huh. for this plane, haven't we? Yes. So yeah, we were there once and yeah, we do get that longing. I think everybody gets that longing to some degree but they can't quite, we can't always work out what that means True. or where it comes from. True. Which is where art comes in, because sometimes the expression comes out subconsciously. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you for thank producing you. this artwork. We'll love thank it. you for telling me what you think. <laughs> thank you. So here we are with another picture, and I feel like now it's not the two of us, me and Emma, but it's also <laughs> the third being next to us, because it feels as strong as there will be a person next to us, or an animal, even stronger. This is such a incredibly uh, powerful painting which uh, I've seen before Emma's prints and they are great and you can feel the energy as well from them but little I expected how strong will be the original looking at it it's like oof, it's like your face is being washed with energy with information with with a feeling uh, it feels like there is a friend yeah. and somebody <laughs> want to hug and embrace and maybe give kisses to if you can something very touching now something very hearty, very soul-y, very tender, somebody extremely tender, extremely loving, almost like a human being. And I feel this being is saying, 
I'm like you. I'm exactly like you. Why do you think I'm different? I have feelings. I have thoughts. I have dreams. I have visions. I exist. I'm alive. I exist. I love you. Why don't you love me? It's such a tender, like a flower type of being, which maybe was put in this different shape and had to experience being in a different shape where not everybody understands how pure and loving this spirit is on the inside. And it's such a generous being, it can give and give and give love and love and love. It doesn't know otherwise. So she's an old lady. She's a, she's a beautiful heart, as you say. She, um, she has a softness. I wanted to capture the concept of her coming down and saying hello. Hence the name Hello Buttercup. So you're lying in the grass and she's coming down with her soft nose, just saying hi. And there is an, a harsh bone in her body. She is gentle, but like you also say, there is a sadness. And I think at the time of painting her, I was um, thinking about the atrocities of the dairy system, the dairy industry, and I think that might have been coming through at that time. And I remember thinking, she was telling me, I don't want to have that tag on my ear. That doesn't belong to me. So I wanted her as she was. And she wanted to be represented and to be seen for who she is. She desperately wants to be seen for who she is. So it's that desperation, as you pointed out, funnily enough. Um, so yeah, you are spot on. Yeah, interesting. I, I think she's given a message that she wants, yeah, she wants humanity to actually wake up sooner rather than later and actually understand that we are all collective brothers and sisters, that they've got so much to give. And even more so than us, to some degree, they have a kindness that if they were allowed to be in a free state, there would be so much beauty around. Um, so yeah, it's a desperation. I felt she came to me and said, paint me please, mummy. <laughs> it was very much like that. She's an old lady, you know. Let's give her some love, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much, beautiful being. All will be well. I love you very much. You're a wonderful, brave soul. <laughs> yes, we can be healed by art, but yeah. we can also heal art. <laughs> we can heal all the beings who are beyond that concept. All the essence through the art. Yeah, I think actually, yeah, it's a gateway, isn't it? So we had a good look at the wonderful art of Emma and we sensed lots of different paintings with the healing nature, with a wonderful invitation for exploration. And now you can have a look at the website and look at different prints that we offer for you to explore and enjoy. And together with the prints you'll get a special meditation and an explanation how to connect to art through your own energy, how to feel the art with your hands with your aura, with your eyes, and then let the healing energy wash through you. So feel free to go on mariasuniverse.com and emmajy.co.uk for more information. Thank you!